Hey guys, Ryoki here. So this is a follow-up video on my How to Escape from a Nether Portal Trap tutorial. Uh, basically, I got a comment from Magic Man Jose Jose, I believe, is how to pronounce his name. And he basically said, what if someone has put uh, source blocks directly next to the portal so that when uh, the portal's broken, the source blocks will go in and kill you. Well, you're right. Uh, I don't know why I didn't consider it at all, but yeah, this would kill you if you're in the nether. In the overworld, it's fine. You just put uh, when you place your water block, it will turn all the lava to obsidian, and you'll be fine. But lights. Okay, there we go. Finally. Um, yeah, but if someone does it in the nether and you can't place a water block, obviously it's going to uh, it's going to kill you because the source blocks will flow in and kill you. But I I did some more testing and I figured out how to do it, uh, how to escape. So you kind of have to ignore what I said last time about how to place your how to get out of the nether portal uh, in the nether because it won't work. Um, well, it will work some of the time, but if the portal is set up like this and uh, and the source blocks are directly next to it, you're kind of screwed. So I'm doing this floating above this uh, lava lake just to make it a little bit more difficult on myself. But now I will go into survival and show you how to get out. Okay, here we are in survival mode, trapped in the nether portal in the nether. So, how do we get out? Well, I did some testing and basically, I didn't realise this, but you can actually place blocks directly against the portal block when you're standing in the portal like this. So you shift and slowly edge yourself towards the lava, be very careful, and you just have to aim your, um, aim your blocks carefully onto the portal, and as you can see I managed to place one there, and you can actually, if you're very careful, place one there, come over to this side, and out, oh, yeah, yeah, not being careful enough, but yeah, you can block yourself in like this, it is tricky though, and kind of difficult to see what you're doing sometimes, so as you can see I've now disabled one side, now I have to do the same for the other side, slowly edge yourself over, and hopefully don't stand in the lava. Uh, once you've got one block like that, it's pretty easy, since you can push yourself up against the uh, up against the block. Okay, so there we go. Finally covered up every lava block, and now I can use the same trick I used last time, where I placed the uh, the lava source block down there, and jump and switch to cobblestone like so, and now it's easy enough to escape um, using the same methods I showed last time. I don't have my piston on me, I'll just have to spawn in a piston. Okay, and a lever. But yeah guys, that's basically all I have to show you. Um, as you saw it was a, a little bit more difficult, you have to be a bit more careful and I'm not as uh, practiced at this method. Oh, <laughs> still in creative mode, sorry. Okay, uh, yeah, back, sorry, screwed up there. Uh, but yeah, it's not too difficult if you practice a little bit. I'm sure you can figure out how to do it. Um, I think that in previous versions of Minecraft, you couldn't do this, where uh, where if you're standing in the portal block, you can place blocks on the outside. I don't think you used to be able to do that. But uh, yeah, I found out you can, actually, so it's really not that difficult to get out. There you go, at the end of the thingy there, and now we'll just go doop doop doop, and we're out. Ta 
ta-da. Okay, there you go, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, and you should now be able to escape from any nether portal traps quite easily.